All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Mashoka Tensai season two, episode twenty-four, the finale of the second season. Um, in the last episode, uh, we had the aftermath of what happened to Paul and Zenith. Obviously, very sad. Rudy in a very dark place. Couldn't even bring himself to be kind of feed himself. He was like really on what seemed to be his last limb. Um, uh, but everything changed when uh, Roxy paid him a visit and um, yeah, she helped him out. Um, obviously, it was a very kind of controversial episode um, for kind of both sides, both sides of the argument. I kind of made my 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 gave my thoughts basically in the episode, like how it was. It's it's still a bit odd with me um, that Roxy kind of thought that was the best uh, choice in that situation. Um, I think you guys did let me know though that uh, what was left out was the fact that Alina Lee's kind of said that that would be a good idea. Again, odd for Grandma, but hey ho, it, it is what it is. Different world, different culture. Um, and yeah, now they're going to be heading home. Um, to break the bad news to everyone about Paul. To tell Sylphie about this whole situation about Rudy now wanting to marry Roxy as well. Um, yeah, I have no, no idea how it's going to go, but Sylphie's understanding, so I guess we'll see. But yeah, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Yeah, why wouldn't he? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Is there something he's still yet to happen? House seems very empty. What's going on? Why is it so empty? What the hell? It's like nobody lives here. What the hell is going on? Surely they haven't left. Oh, Aisha. She's, oh, yeah, about to see his arm. <gasps> she is here. Oh, thank God. Oh, still very pregnant. Holy shit. Look at her with her longer grown hair. Cute. What the hell is this regret then? Everyone seems okay. That must be such a relief though, holy shit. Well, this is awkward. How are you feeling, Roxy? <laughs> Has anything been said yet? Oh, they're probably waiting for Norn, shit. Oh god, Paul's not here. Fuck. Oh, I don't think I'm ready for this. Fuck. Oof. Oh, shit. Is this his armor? Damn. Oh, they got his ashes. Oh, God. Like, to everybody else, especially the kids, Norn and Aisha, it may feel hard to f feel like... Was it worth going? But yeah, that's true. That's one way to look at it. Oh, my God. Christ, this isn't even the end of this... The conversations that need to be had right now. Oh, my God. Is it even, like... Should it happen today? Should it happen another day when everybody's feeling slightly better? It's probably heavy as hell. Can she even lift it? Oh, his father's words. It'd be cool that, like, if no one grows up to be more like Paul in, in kind of a fighting way. 
And Rudy is more like Zenith. Damn, a little bit of memory there. She's still in there. Like, little remnants of her are still in there, which is nice. Well, you've definitely got the room. Why? Does she want to do all the chores, or...? Oh, he wants to see her mom. She's so sweet. And she's upset about losing Paul, too. Uh, a little bit of happiness on the back end of that. Is Roxy staying, though? Where's Roxy? I assume she's staying. They're really good friends to Paul. I'm off to see Cliff, yeah. Oh. There's, there's no way they could have saved him in that situation. Just just gotta let her know. Before what happens, happens. Oh, she already gets the idea. Oh, Sylvie, you're too good. Oh, with Norn and Aisha here as well? Yikes. Okay, straight to the point. I think Sylvie probably would appreciate there was someone like that there for him at that time when she couldn't be. I appreciate that he's being fully honest. This is valid. He, even if he wasn't explicitly saying it, I think he was still thinking about Sylphie the entire time, though. Damn, Norn. Yeah. She would have. He's, he doesn't follow Millis, though. A little girl like her. Damn, Norn, you're going in. Oof, God. I wasn't expecting Norn to go in like this. We haven't even seen Sylphie's face during this whole thing. Oh, of course it'd be Sylphie. Oh. Someone did make a point as well that Sylphie has already said in the past that if you wanted to take a second wife, you could. That was also at the time, though, when she didn't think she was going to get pregnant. So, I don't know, but I think she just really cares at this point that she helped Rudy out of a dark place. Damn, you had that little faith in him? Yeah. That doesn't make you upset, though. Damn. Sylvie's too good of a person. Jesus Christ. The mental strength that she has. How much she loves Rudy as well. Oh my god. This man... But I praise these women for the rest of his life. Oh, she's taking out her frustrations. <laughs> if it wasn't for Paul doing what he did with Lilia as well, like she wouldn't have a sweet sister like she does, so Oh, she's waiting till after the baby's born to get married. That's nice. Let's make this whole kind of month long about Sylphie. And then we can go to Roxy afterwards. Life's looking better. What did Mangod mean by regret, though? 
It's here? Oh my god. Good job, Sylphie. Is that a boy or a girl? Looks like a girl? Yeah. Oh. So how does this kid work? Is it part elf? Part human? Or is it just like one or the other? I don't get it. Is that a human with an extended lifespan? Oh, is it? No, point ears. I see a little bit. So is it an elf? I don't know. Someone explain that to me. Red eyes. Oh. Damn, how long has it been so far? What was he named his kid? Lucy Gray are out. Aww. Oh my god. Crazy ride, man. That man was too rude to Elena Lee's. I doubt he did. Was he? I mean, were you? Oh, that's true. I guess he kind of held back in that sense. Oh, damn, bro. Oh. I just really wanted that big family dinner with Paul and Zenith. Oh, Paul's still watching over him. Oh, makes me sad. Oh, shit, Eddie's. Oh, let's go, Rudy. Oh, I'm happy for him. Look at this big house of girls. Jesus. <laughs> one one dude in this house. Right, so that was Mashoka Tensai Season 2, Episode 24. The final episode of Season 2. Um, Wow. Uh, just a very good episode. Uh, I knew it was going to be hard to for Rudy to tell everybody about Paul. Um... I didn't consider fully how, I mean, I knew it was going to be hard, obviously, telling Norn and Aisha, but Norn really kind of broke down. Like, he, Paul was so much to her. Um, So, yeah, that did suck. That really kind of pushed me to the edge there in terms of, like, uh, emotions and tears. Um, But, yeah, they, they'll, they'll be okay. They're going to be all right. They've got a big family now. Um, More people that's there for them. I like the idea that Norm will kind of take on Paul's sword and kind of be more of the sword fighter as opposed to Rudy, who's more focused on magic, which is cool. Sylphie, as the saint she is, of course, has accepted this situation, which I'm not surprised, but damn, just... She's she's too good. She's too damn good. Um, but yeah, everything seems sweet and happy now. Um... We saw a little bit of improvement from Zenith there. She kind of held on to the memory like of Paul, obviously touching his armor like that. Maybe bit by bit, some things will return. She might never be the same again, but it's nice to see still that there's hope. Um, but yeah, overall, a very good season. I want to thank you guys so much for watching along with me this season. I've already seen today that uh, season three of Mashokan Zentai is in development, which is great. I had no doubt about that. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that in the on the future, in the future on the channel. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day and peace out.